Hi guys! We are going to learn some really exciting things about the adjectives beau, nouveau, and vieux today. Let's pronounce them again. Beau, nouveau, vieux. Beau means beautiful, pretty, handsome, gorgeous, wonderful, sometimes. In, okay? Nouveau means new. Vieux, vieux means old. Um, now, there is a group of adjectives that, unlike all the other adjectives in French, they go before the noun. Beau, nouveau, and vieux go before the noun. So do grand and petit. If you're using the Bon Voyage textbook, um, you can find all of this in Bon Voyage 1, that's the red book, on page 126. Okay, so with beau, nouveau, and vieux, we're going to write the masculine form, which is beau, for nouveau, we're going to write the singular form, the masculine singular form, which is nouveau. And we're going to write the masculine singular form of vieux, which is vieux. So you will note that what I've written here is exactly what I've written here. Okay, so the masculine singular version is beau, the masculine singular version of nouveau, is nouveau, and then vieux. All right. So now, I'm going to show you something a little bit weird, okay? Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to show you what to do when they're feminine. So if you're modifying a feminine noun, say you want to say a beautiful car, voiture is feminine. So we're going to need bed. Say we want to say a new car. We would say nouvelle. And say we want to say an old car, we would say vieille, vieille. And you'll notice that I've written vieille here. So you can remember vieille, vieille, all right? But guess what? When you're modifying a masculine noun, describing a masculine noun that starts with a vowel or H, we're going to use a special form of the adjective. We're not going to use the normal masculine forms. We're going to use a special form before a noun that starts with a vowel or an H. We're going to use a special form that looks different but sounds exactly the same as the feminine form. Go figure. We've got belle, nouvelle, and vieille. A lot of people don't pronounce that right. Belle, Nouvelle, vieille. Okay? So let's pronounce them together. Beau, belle, belle, nouveau, nouvelle, nouvelle, vieux, vieille, vieille. So I'm going to use one of my little symbols to show you that this one, this is an ear here, guys. This, this ear here tells you that these two sound alike. These two sound alike, and these two sound alike. All right? So they're going to go like this. They sound alike. And if you're somebody who likes to look at the legend of a map, we have it up here. They sound alike. So let's look at some examples. We could say, um, Un beau livre, so a beautiful book, okay? We could say un beau garçon, a beautiful boy, un beau garçon, all right? Un nouveau livre, a new book, un nouveau Garçon, a new boy. Un vieux livre. Un vieux livre. And a vieux, what could I have that's old? A vieux sac. 
un vieux sac, an old bag. All right? Now, with the feminine ones, let's look. We would have une belle femme. A beautiful woman. Une belle femme. Une belle... What could we have that's beautiful? Something that's beautiful. Ah, pourquoi pas? Une belle chaussure. A beautiful shoe. Not just one, right? Une belle chaussure. How about nouvelle? Let's say une nouvelle fille. A new girl. Une, <coughs> une nouvelle famille. A new family. Une nouvelle famille. And now we have vieille. Okay? Old. Une vieille femme. An old or elderly woman. Une vieille femme. You could say une vieille famille. An old family. Like one of the old families of Detroit. Okay? So... When are we going to use these masculine forms? We are going to use the masculine forms before a noun that starts with a vowel or H. And I like to, there's always a few of those masculine nouns that start before a vowel or H. I like to use ordinateur, which means computer. That's one of my favorite things to use. So, oops, I will say un bel ordinateur un bel ordinateur okay you could say un bel homme which means a handsome man so this is a beautiful computer or a nice computer a beautiful or a handsome man okay un nouvel ordinateur Un nouvel homme, a new man. Okay? Vieille. Un vieil ordinateur. Un vieil homme. An old man. Un vieil homme. All right. So now, where does that leave us? What about the plurals? We have got, it's really simple. Beau, nouveau. You will notice that this does not change the spelling, the pronunciation. And this one doesn't change. So I'm just going to do this little kind of an equal sign, but not exactly. There is no change. Okay? View, view, there's no change. It already has an X. Ah! Masculine before a vowel or H is no longer important. We don't need it. In the plural, there is no masculine before a vowel or H. So what about the feminine plurals? We have belle, nouvelle, and vieille. Vieille. So let's look. Beau, beau, nouveau, nouveau, vieux, vieux. Belle, belle, nouvelle, nouvelle, vieille, vieille. There is no change in pronunciation, but you'll notice that the liaison actually does make a difference. So let's see what happens. Let's do some plurals. De belles femmes. So we're going to use these same nouns as up above, but we're going to use it in the plural. De belles femmes. De belles chaussures. De belles femmes. De belles chaussures. De nouvelles filles. 
de nouvelle famille. De vieille, de vieille femme, de vieille famille, de vieille famille. Okay. Oh, wouldn't it have been nice if I'd done the plurals here? That's a pity. I think that marker's getting a little bit dry. Let's try this one. So let's do the masculine plurals, okay? De beau garçon. De beau garçon. Oops, I did them out of order. Whatever. De beau livre, okay? So, un beau livre, un beau garçon. De beaux livres, sorry, de beaux livres, de beaux garçons, de nouveaux oops, livres, de nouveaux garçons, de nouveaux garçons, and let's look at vieux. We have de vieux livres, de vieux sacs. So, what I see, okay, so what I need to show you is, why don't we need this masculine before a vowel or H? Why don't we need a plural, a weird plural form? I'm going to show you why, okay? I am going to show you something really cool. We're going to say de beau, so we're using this beau, de beaux ordinateurs. And we have the liaison that sounds like z. De beaux hommes. De beaux hommes. Okay, de beaux hommes. Let's look at nouvelle. All right, so we are going to use the masculine plural and we're going to say we're going to use these sentences de nouveaux ordinateurs de nous oops de yeah okay de nouveaux hommes we have a liaison in both cases. De nouveaux ordinateurs, de nouveaux hommes. Now let's look at this one. This is the hardest one. It's pronounced vieille, just like this one, vieille. All right, we, sorry, we are going to use a masculine plural and we're going to say de vieux ordinateurs. De vieux hommes. All right? And we have a liaison. So now let's look. The whole reason we had an extra special masculine before a vowel or H form is because the French language doesn't like the sound of a glottal stop, and that's where the flow of air stops. It wouldn't sound good to the French ear to say un beau ordinateur. There's a oop in there that doesn't sound attractive to a French speaker. So um, we had to create something so there was un bel ordinateur, un bel homme. 
we needed to have a way of keeping the flow of air. But once you have a plural that has an X, it provides you with the opportunity to do a liaison that sounds like Z. So we didn't need this singular masculine version that got rid of the glottal stop problem. So now we have de beaux garçons, de beaux livres, de beaux ordinateurs, de beaux hommes, de belles femmes, de belles chaussures, de nouveaux livres, de nouveaux garçons, de nouveaux ordinateurs, de nouveaux hommes, vieux, de vieux livres, de vieux sacs, de vieux ordinateurs, de vieux hommes, de vieilles femmes, de vieilles familles. All right? Now, one last tiny thing. How many people are looking at this and going, what's going on? Why is she saying de? She taught us that un, une, and de. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I taught you that you have un, une, and de, that the plural of un or une is de. That's right. But you know what? With these crazy, crazy adjectives that go before the noun, with these adjectives only, when you're going to use de or de before them, it, where you would normally use de, you use de. But the good news is that's mainly for old fogies like me or informal writing. More and more young people are, are going to end up saying de. It's technically not correct, but just like we say, oh, you did real good. That's not technically correct either, but you hear it a lot. And I just said, yeah, that's not technically correct either, but you will hear that a lot from me. So de vieille femme, de vieille femme, you will hear people saying de vieille femme. It's technically not correct, but a lot of people will say it. Thank you for watching a very long video.